This video will review the Meguiar BV2 press stop valve installation steps and tips. You'll need the following tools. A wheel type tubing cutter or fine tooth hand saw, a deburring tool, a permanent marker, a soft cloth moistened with water, and a pressing tool with corresponding profile jaws. Before you begin, verify the tubing or pipe type is ASTM B88 type K, L, or M seamless hard copper and read the tool manufacturer's instructions. The specific pressing tool instructions will take precedence. To install Meguiar's BV2 press stop valve, ensure your main water source is shut off. For tubing connections, use only clean, rigid tubing specified. Cut the tubing using a wheel-type cutter or handsaw to the desired length. Assure the cut is square. Clean and deburr the connection pipe with a deburring tool to remove any sharp edges. Clean the tubing end thoroughly, no oils, dirt, or debris. Be sure the end is round and has no dents or scratches before it is inserted into the stop valve. Inspect the stop valve to ensure that the double O-rings are seated correctly in the socket. Using a soft, moistened cloth, wipe out the inside of the stop valve socket. The water from the moist, damp cloth will serve as lubricant. Do not use any other lubricants. Using a marker, mark the tubing to the correct insertion depth at 1 and 4 tenths of an inch. Insert the tubing into the stop valve end until the tubing sits and makes contact to the end. Verify that the mark made on the tubing matches up to the end of the stop valve socket's edge. Using the correct size pressing jaw tool, open the jaws by pinching the arms together. Place over the socket's raised grooves and release the jaw arms. Be sure to follow the pressing tool manufacturer's instructions. Check and make sure that the tubing is still inserted to the correct depth at the mark in step 7. Position the pressing tool and jaw perpendicular to the tubing and at a right angle and depress and hold the tool's trigger. Open the pressing jaws by pinching the arms together and remove the tool from the stop valve. Inspect all connections, threaded and pressed joints. Test the installation on all connection style stops in accordance with the territory plumbing code. Cautions and warnings. Take care not to damage the double O-rings when wiping down the valve in preparation for piping installation. Do not apply petroleum-based lubricant to the O-rings. It will result in an improper seal, valve failure, and leakage. Tubing ends that are not completely or improperly inserted will result in faulty joints and seals. Tip. Remove the tubing end after it is marked and measure the insertion depth to 1 and 4 tenths of an inch to re-verify. Be sure there is no copper buildup, debris, or metal shavings of any kind in the jaws or the valve socket when the jaws are positioned over the press valve ridges. A big thank you to PJ Dion Company in Woburn, Massachusetts for taking the time to demo the install of our press stop valve for the making of this video.